Hey, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Trish Canale and I'm going to be teaching you how to change lip color in Photoshop. We're going to be using adjustment layer masks today and what's great about that is that the end result is completely adjustable. You can change the color even after you've painted it in. Let's get started. We're going to start with our photo and we're going to start by taking our lasso tool and let me just zoom in here on the lips so we can see closer. I'm going to start by taking my lasso tool and just kind of making a loose selection around the lips. This doesn't have to be perfect. You don't even have to select all of the lips yet because what I do is I make a selection of just a part of the lips. I find the color that I want, then I erase it all, and then I paint it back in so that it's nice and neat. But if you're not like me and you don't want a needless step, uh, you can by all means make a nice selection so that you don't have to adjust it later. So I'm going to go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to click hue saturation. And we're going to call this lip color. And I click OK. Now I'm going to take her lips pretty dark, so I'm going to adjust my blending mode right over here under layers. To multiply and that's going to darken it up right away and kind of give me a head start. I'm going to click colorize right here and that's going to even everything out and give you a nice even color. So I want to keep her at red. So let's go over here. It's a little more pinky red this one. And then this is your hue slider. This is going to tell you what hue you want. If you want to give her some green lips you can do that. If you want to give her blue lips or purple lips Whatever hue you want this to be is this top slider here. And then you're going to take the saturation. You boost the saturation because we want it pretty intense. And then adjust the lightness. And we're going to make it pretty dark. I think that's good. You want to watch in your blacks here and your darker crevices to make sure that they don't get too dark. So I think that's good. Now that we have that, I'm going to take my brush, and it's going to be a pretty big brush, and let's make that pretty hard with black, and just erase it all. And then I'm going to change my brush to white. Let's get a smaller brush, and about 50% hardness at 100% opacity. And then we can just paint this lip color back in. And if you color outside the lines, don't panic because we can just change our brush back to black and clean up the edges when we're done. Let's get down here. And if you don't have a tablet, you can do this with a mouse, but it just might take you longer but the good thing about using an adjustment layer mask is that you have a lot more leeway in terms of cleaning it up when you're done. Oh, I think that looks good. See how I got outside of the lines here and here? I'm just going to change my brush to black and kind of clean up the edges. Not easy? And let's get in the corners. And right here. And then a nice little divot right there. The thing with red lips is that you want the lip line to be absolutely perfect. Nobody likes a sloppy red lip. Alright, I think that looks great. Let's take a look at the whole picture. So here's our before. And here's our lip color now. Now you can experiment. If you don't like it that intense, you can experiment. Um, you can put it on normal, and that gives it a little bit lighter, more matte, lipsticky look. You can put it on overlay, and that gives you a glossy, more intense, more saturated look. 
soft light will give you um, a less intense glossy lip. And then remember how we said we could completely change the color. All we have to do is go to our sliders here and change it around. So if you don't like the color that you ended up with, you are not stuck. You don't have to start all over from the beginning. And that's it. I hope you try this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. And if you found me on YouTube, check out my website, trishcanally.com. Thanks. Bye.